How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here. I have some exciting content to share with you, fam bam, because I have some next storage NVMEs here, all thanks to Newegg. We have two right here in my hand that we will try out, and I'm going to tell you about the specifications of it because it is one of the most underrated and definitely one of the most undervalued NVMEs that are out there when it comes to SSD storage. Now, everybody has heard of Samsung, Crucial, you've heard of many other manufacturers. Next storage comes from Japan, and I want to share the specifications with you because not only can you take advantage of it for your PC, but you can also take advantage of this NVMe for your PlayStation 5. I know there has been a lot of hype recently when it came to PCI Express 5.0. Sure, you can take advantage of the speeds and it is 100% quicker, but the problem is we can't really take advantage of the speeds just yet. Not fully, at least. Microsoft Direct Storage isn't quite on every PC game just quite yet. And because of that, you can take advantage of the pricing. I'm going to go over what Next Storage specifications provide us an idea of what these specifications are. And I will also provide some benchmarks after we do install this NVMe. We're going to install it into my Threadripper PC, which I will provide the specifications. The first thing they do mention is when it comes to the random and write speeds, it goes up to 1 million IOPS for either one. Now, when it comes to sequential write speeds, it can go up to 7,300 megabytes per second. When it goes for sequential read speeds, they say it can go up to 6,900 megabytes per second. What is also important is the terabytes written. So terabytes written is for the maximum lifespan of what this drive does offer and for its warranty period. And Next Storage does offer up to five years warranty when it comes to their products. So exactly how much do they provide? Now it all depends on how much storage you have. For the four terabyte version, it goes up to 3000 terabytes written. Now when it comes to two terabytes, it's up to 1,400 terabytes written. Another important factor to pay attention to is the mean time before failure. And it has up to 1.6 million hours before SSD failure for next storage. When you do purchase next storage drives, they are actually recommended for PlayStation 5 when you go to Japan. But I can tell you it is highly competitive. And what I want to compete it next to, just to give you an idea of how competitive it is, is next to Samsung's 980 Pro. And of course, Samsung's 990 is the newest drive out there and everybody loves that drive. But let me tell you the specifications really quick, just for you to get an idea of how quick Next Storage's PCI Express 4.0 drive is. Now, if you're interested in any of these drives, make sure you go down to the description box down below because I have them and definitely get them from Newegg. They will ship it to you right away. Now, the first thing I do got to say about Samsung's 990, it is extremely fast. Now, when it comes to their IOPS, it's up to 1.5 million when it goes to read and write speeds. But when you go to sequential read and write speeds, Read speeds are 7,450 megabytes per second. Its sequential write speeds are up to 6,900 megabytes per second. Sure, it sounds like it's a little bit quicker, about 150 megabytes per second quicker, but this is where the downfall is. Now, when we go to terabytes per written, it goes up to 1,200 terabytes written on that drive. It has a much higher chance of failure, practically, even from what the specifications say for itself. Now, in the meantime, before failure, 1.5 million hours. This is all off of the 990. So what about the 980? And I gotta say for the 980, the read speeds are very similar to Next Storage's drive, which is 7,000 megabytes per second. And now the write speeds up to 5,100 megabytes per second. The difference is the IOPS is more similar to Next Storage's drive, which are these ones that you can really get for a great deal. Now, when it comes to mean time before failure, 1.5 million, and it is also a little bit longer lasting, terabytes per written is up to 1,400 terabytes. Now I will do a benchmark on everything. First, we will install these drives. So the one we will be giving away is this one right here, which is the next storage two terabyte version out there. Just make sure you're down into the description box down below to figure out exactly how you can win this next storage drive. It is definitely one of the best ones out there, the, one of the best MMEs and definitely reliable when it comes down to it. 
and thanks to new egg for sending these out and make sure you go to no egg if you need any of these type of purchases when it comes to electronic components another big issue when it comes to samsung drives is that it is 3d v nand but it is a mlc mvme so the biggest difference when you're going to notice between these two drives is that you're comparing it with a tlc drive so it has a different type of technology in there you will see some differences when you compare both of these drives we're about to install the next storage m2 ssd into this pc this is my creator build so i'm going to remove one of my old mvmes and you're going to see how simple it is to exchange a mvme there you go it is a solid drive and one of the top drives you can get so we have the case taken out for this SSD to be installed, I have to remove the GPU. Of course, you're gonna just need a basic tool real quick, which is just a Phillips head screwdriver, and just remove what you have to remove in order to install your NVMe. So on every PC, it can vary. Just make sure you're careful. Samsung drives come with Samsung's Magic Wizard, which is for their SSDs. And for next storage, what they give you is a Cronus, so if you choose to put your OS into this drive or you want to back up your OS into the other drive, you can. Here is the new drive. Beautiful as it can be. Time for this puppy to go in. How well did Nextdoor's G Series 4 terabyte drive do up against the Samsung 980 Pro? Well, let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you exactly what the results are. First, I'm gonna go with ATTO's benchmarks. And ATTO's benchmarks is, you'll notice that the smaller file sizes, they tend to and write a little bit slower compared to the 980 Pro. As you can see, the 512 byte file read about 36.65 megabytes and it read at 41.75 megabytes now you go further down say the two kilobytes you're getting about 142.58 megabytes and then you're getting a read speed of 163.64 megabytes you go further down to eight kilobytes you get 574. 5 megabytes you go to read speeds you get about 653.67 megabytes so when you go down you'll notice that the speed starts to match the 980 pro and get this they start to exceed samsung's 980 pro once you get further down to the 128 kilobytes you get 6.28 gigabytes of write speed and of read speed you get 6.69 gigabytes of read speeds. Now let's go to 512 kilobytes and see what type of numbers those pull out of ATTO. Now with ATTO, you get 6.31 kilobytes, you get 6.31 gigabytes per second of write speed. And then you get 6.82 gigabytes per second of read speed. The difference is when you compare the two, once you go to 12 megabytes, and 16 megabytes, you'll notice that there is a small fluctuation of speed. There's a lack of consistency once it goes up to higher file sizes. That you'll notice once you hit about 12 megabytes, it hits 4.56 gigabytes per second when it comes to write speeds. Now you'll go to the read speeds, it's only at 1.79 megabytes per second of read speed. You go to 16 megabytes where it really kind of slowed down was at 440 megabytes per second of write speed. And then you get 3.56 gigabytes of read speed. And then from there on, it picks back up to normal. You get five gigabytes per second of write speed or higher. And then you get six gigabytes per second of read speed and higher. So when you compare it next to Samsung's 980 Pro, remember with the ATTO on the Samsung's 980 Pro benchmark test, once we go back to the 12 megabyte, it was pretty consistent throughout the benchmark. Now you go to 4.17 gigabytes per second of speed when it comes to writing, and then 4.06 gigabytes of speed when it goes to read speeds. Now, when you go to 16 megabytes, it's 4.17 megabytes of 
write speed. It goes to 5.63 gigabytes of read speed. So there's a little bit more consistency when it comes to Samsung's 980 Pro when it comes to their ATTO benchmark. You can see how much faster NextStorage's drive is next to Samsung's drive. Now, how does it do in the other tests like Crystal Disk Benchmark, which I will show you. When it comes to sequential read speeds, it's at 7,253.94 megabytes per second. Now, when it goes to write speeds, it's at 6,848.93 megabytes per second. Now, when you go down a little bit further, when it goes for the second write, it goes 4,301.86 megabytes per second and then for write speeds up to 5,685.9 megabytes per second. Now let's go to the random read and write speeds. So for the first random speed when it comes to reading it goes at 5.39.99 megabytes per second and then you go to the write speeds which is at 345 megabytes per second and then when it goes for the second round of it it goes at 74.33 megabytes per second compared to 173.21 megabytes per second of write speed. You can see how NextStorage's drive blows Samsung's 980 Pro pretty much out the water. One to 2,000 megabytes per second quicker because of the TLC drive compared to a MLC drive. Let's go to the next test, which was A to 64, which is the full read access test. You get a linear read speed of 5,374.3 megabytes per second. Then you get the middle linear read speed, which was at 6,310.2 megabytes per second. And then you go to the end of the linear test, which is at 6,297.2 megabytes per second. You get a random read speed of 5,910.9 megabytes per second. And then you get buffered reading tests, which is at 6,217.9 megabytes per second. It does really well and consistent between out two out of the three tests. Now, the third test would have been a lot better if it was a lot more consistent, like the Samsung 980 Pro, where it was consistent with numbers. You know exactly how fast the file will transfer. Now, when it comes to NextStorage's drive, it is just as reliable and more than likely, you won't really run into that issue too often unless you're very heavy when it comes to transferring files and storage. But if you truly want the faster drive, I gotta say NextStorage's drive does show that it is very capable of beating out the Samsung 980 Pro. So it's definitely a drive that you can take a look at and if you're interested in either or drive, make sure you go down to the description box down below. There will be a price difference, especially now because PCI Express 5.0 is the new big thing and you will see these drives for a lot cheaper. You can pick them both up for a really great deal. And check it out also on Newegg. Thanks to Newegg for sending these out because one of you guys will get this completely free, a two terabyte, G-Series PCI Express NVMe. You can install this into your PC if you need the storage, or you can even install it on your PlayStation 5. You can install it into your ASUS ROG Ally, but I personally wouldn't because you wanna keep the warranty for now at least. And also, speaking of warranties, this Nest Storage G-Series drive do, does have a manufacturer's warranty of up to five years. And it also comes with a Kronos and it is TLC, which is important for you gamers and professionals out there. Famim, guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You know anybody else who is looking for some gaming NVMEs or for productivity use, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big one with fan band, make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure to follow my Twitter handle or X handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fan band guys, are you still gaming on NVMe 4.0? Let me know what your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this Christmas. Signing out.